Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Prospect Monroe, and I am back with another hair review. Um, I'm gonna be hitting y'all with a lot of hair and um makeup reviews because I just have a lot of um products and a lot of things sent to me. So get ready for it. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, today I uh have a review from um i'm sorry guys I, every time i get under the camera and all these lights i just start sweating but um yes so a couple of days ago i had um did an unboxing of a hair that was sent to me by ling hang hair and um basically today i am going to style it put it on and show you guys how i would rock it my version and it's another curly uh synthetic unit so you know how i feel about those very leery but this one looks better than the this one actually looks a little bit better than the other one i'm not as um what reluctant to put this one on as the other one the curls are a lot smaller um let me show it to you guys so um yeah i did an unboxing with this one um this one, the curls are a lot um, easier to deal with, I think. Um, as you can see, they're smaller curls. And so um, I think this one should be, uh, should probably look better. I think they're going to look similar even though the curls are different. But this one, even before I cut it, I think I, I actually liked it. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I do it and what I do with it. I'm going to come back with it on without the cut. So you can see what it looked like before I did my thing. And then... Um, I'll come back with the after, okay? So I am back with the wig. Um, this is the wig straight out the pack. As you can see, it's like a big fro curl. And, um, you know, it's not customized for my face. So what I normally start with is, um, as you can see, the bang is like, the bang is like on, um, it's basically uneven and I'm just going to go in and try to do like, I try to do like a heart shape with it. But again, I really am not a hairdresser. I don't know what I'm doing, but I just want to show you how user friendly these wigs are. Like even if you don't have a background in hair, you can um, customize these wigs to fit your face. And what you do is you just start pulling the hair a little bit, kind of stretching it out. And um, this hair is really soft. For it to be synth a synthetic unit, this one is going to last a while. You could see the bounce back with this. Um, it's not very frizzy. So these are one of those units that you get and you it lasts you forever. So there's like a middle part right here to make it look flat here. So that is my favorite part because it's going to give what it's supposed to give. So what you do before you start cutting it, you start... Um, basically spreading these out get them stretched out because they were just in a bag so they're not really um to their longest length so what i do is i stretch 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 and as you can see this hair is getting bigger and what i was saying before is i like about this unit it has like a middle part it's not necessarily a middle part but it's like a part with the hair that it falls on a certain side so like if it was like a circular, it would be big everywhere, but this part is kind of flat. So um, I like that because it's gonna give that fro look. And um, this company, they worked really well. Um, the hair came really quick. Um, it's an Amazon company. So if you have Amazon Prime, you'll get this hair in a day or two. And um, it came in, the, in this packaging. It also came with a, um, what do you call it? Uh, a wig cap and um for a lot of people out of the cap out of the pack they could wear it like this for me though i am going to have to customize it because you know i have that funny shaped head that i have to customize hair but as you can see the more i pull it out the better it starts to look and this side is a little bit higher than that side but it's fine i am going to cut this um on camera and then I'll show you guys what I come up with. But like I said, it's it's straight. You can wear it straight out the pack. It's super cute out the pack. It's really just up to you. I'm not. I came back with my glasses. And I was just telling you guys that I'm not going to wear it straight out of the pack. Because my face just doesn't. I just don't have one of those faces that I can do that. 
But as you can see, the more I pull this out, the better it starts to look. And um, this side is a little bit more fuller, just the way that the, um, the, remember I was telling you the middle part is like, it's flat, so it sits really cute. Right now, I feel like I look like Thelma from Scooby-Doo. But um, I had to put my glasses on because I wanted, because most days I wear contacts, but most days I wear my contact, my glasses. So I want to see how things look and fare with my glasses. And it's okay. Um, I'm going to cut it some. So yeah, um, you go, you start to see like once you cut the first pieces, you start to see the other pieces that don't fit in. So you can see this one is kind of longer. So you pull them out and you you go little, but you go small. You don't want to do too much because you can always um, cut, but once you cut, you can't bring it back. So I don't know if you guys can see where this is going, um, but I love it already. So. Um, this part I'm cutting and again like I said I'm not a hairdresser I don't be knowing what I'm doing I just kind of go with what I think like when I tried this on I was like yeah there's a lot of hair on my face I kind of want to be able to wear my glasses with it and you know not always but if I want to have the option and the back is always the easiest because the back you want to just level out but as you can see on this side this side is perfect I don't know if y'all could notice that the backs are the back is easy. You just want to level it out. Um, and with the heart shape, you know, you get fuller around the sides. Um, you want to just layer it. So what I did is I looked to see what parts I felt like needed to be come off. And I look better with less hair around my face and more away from my face. And I haven't even touched a bang. You could see my my stocking cap a little bit, but don't mind the ghetto this, guys. So um, I didn't even use the clips that came with this wig because there is a clip in the front to clip you right here to make you, um, to make you, um, to make it perfect. I didn't use that clip because I have a big head and, um, a lot of people want to know if this wig is big head friendly. It is. Um, I have a big head and I have a lot of hair. So when wigs fit on me, that says that they are big head friendly. Um, I didn't even use the, I didn't use the clips to clip my hair down because I knew I didn't need it, but they have like a band in the back, like I showed you guys in the unboxing. And that band in the back will hold you up. Um, even if you don't need it, it feels secure. The wig feels secure. Um, so um, some of these pieces were not part of the bang, but I'm going to make them part of the bang to make the bang fuller. So you pull this out and you cut. I was telling you guys before, when you're cutting, you want to cut less because you can always come back and cut more. But once you cut... Once you cut too much off, there's really not much you can do about it. Um, now that I have this side done, I kind of know what I want with the other side. And what I'm going for is um, really kind of even this, evening this out. This side is a lot more fuller. But once I cut this side, it should look more like this. And so it would be full. So if you can look at this side and look at this side, you can kind of see that this, this part is longer. So once you do one side, you kind of get the idea of how the other side is going to needs to be. And as you can see, these pieces are long. So I'm going to start by cutting this piece. And because I'm like, I'm right handed, it's harder to cut on this side. So because um, I can't go like this. So what I do is I go up in a diagonal. And like I said, you start small because you can always cut more. But once you cut it too short, you can't really do much with it. So um we cutting at a diagonal and yeah and you you could start to see where you can fix this so um i'm gonna go right to the bottom and if you have your head up you see like this part needs to go down but as you pull you can see the pieces that are kind of sticking out you can see like right now the back needs a lot more cutting Um, yeah, I gotta get this part of the back. And, um, 
like I said, it's always best to start off small with cutting just because um, once you cut too much off, you can't bring it back. But if you can start off small and work your way to where you want it to be, it'll always look cute because you'll always be able to fix it. But once you cut too much, there's no fixing that. So um, I don't know if you guys can see where the errors are. Somewhere up here needs to be cut. Somewhere up here needs to be cut. And, you know, you just kind of kind of mimic. You kind of mimic the other side. So. Um, so, yeah, this is what I came up with. I remember I told you I was going to do a heart shape. Um, I think it came out pretty decent. Like I said, these curls are a lot tighter than the last um, wig that I did like this. But it's definitely a natural hair um, look. It's curly. And it does what it needs to do. Um, I told you guys I shy away from these type of styles because honestly, these are not my go-to styles. I definitely like looser curls, not so much tightly wound curls, but I think that these styles look decent. Like, you know, keep in mind that I have a bare face on right now. I'm not even made up, but can you um, imagine with lashes and a nice makeup look? This look is good. And, and even if you don't want to be made up, if you just want to roll out of bed, um, put your moisturizer on, put a primer on and slap this one on or add a lipstick to it. You can definitely do that with this. This is one of those wigs that are ready to go. Um, when it came out the pack, it was ready to wear for me. You didn't, you didn't necessarily have to cut this. Me, I cut it because I just know what goes with my face and what doesn't. And I kind of like these a little bit shorter. I feel like it gives me the look, um, a better look. Um, when, um, they come straight out the pack for me, they make me look a little bit older. And so I kind of like a funkier cut with these curly hair units. And that's what I go for. And that's why I do them like this. But um, for the most part, this gate came out a good. This came out good. I'm going to give it a five out of five because it's inexpensive and it does what it needs to do. It's definitely worth the price. And like I said, I can tell from a lot of these um, synthetic textures if they're going to last a long time. And this one will last you months. Obviously, with synthetic hair, you have to treat it a little bit different. You're not going to sleep in a unit like this. Um, you're definitely going to, you know, take precautions in keeping it um, nice. But for the, mo for the most part, it will last you a while. Now, I wanted to show you guys an option. Um, maybe my wig cap is going to show. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Um, but you can always do... Let me hide this wig cap. You can always do um, this type of thing. Um, where you put it to the side if you don't want it too much in your face. Um, and it also looks good like this too. So you have options like with this type of wig, you don't have to necessarily wear it with the bang, but um, you definitely would have to cut it a little bit different with the, without the bang. But because remember I told you how they set up that middle, it comes down straight. So it doesn't look poofy in the middle. It just poofy on the side and poofy in the front. You can definitely wear this like this, and it will it will look fine. You don't necessarily have to wear it with a bang, and I just want to give y'all that option because not everybody likes a bang because sometimes bangs break you out. But if you're going for that funky cut look, you definitely want to do the bang. The bang. Hey, guys, this is the finished look. Um, this is the what I came up with. Um, like I said, you could always wear it to the side if you like it, if you don't like a bang. Um, you could always pull it down if you want your bang to be longer. Me, I like to be able to see. Um, thanks for tuning in and watching with me as I created this um, this uh, look. Like I said, I feel like I look like Thelma off of Scooby-Doo, but overall, I like it. These are not my preference looks, but sometimes you want to look a little different. I would wear a pair of personality glasses with this and um, uh, definitely a nice lipstick, maybe a dark lipstick or a bright one, maybe a bright red. And yeah, so this look is the final look. Um, like I said, I don't, I'm bare faced right now, so I haven't even slayed this wig to its full capacity, but I will see you guys in the next video. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.